Well, hello there, everybody. Trey here, and I hope you like destruction because we're going to be doing a lot of that today. Welcome to Abris Build to Destroy. Gotta say, I'm super excited for this game. This is a puzzle based game that's all about destroying structures, and you guys know how much I like destruction on the channel. So, yes, this is a demo. Uh, I actually reached out to the developers, and they made me my own build. I feel pretty privileged about that, but yeah, basically there's supposed to be a few more things than the actual demo that's released right now. If you want to know more about the game, I'll have a link in the description, by the way. All right, so let's start off with the campaign. I did do the tutorial, so we're just going to start off with, um, well, I guess World 1, as you can see. Okay, so some of these have been unlocked for me, it looks like, later in the game. So we actually might have quite a bit to do, but just looking at the size of this, it looks like there's going to be quite a few levels. Let's start off at the basics with extinction, I guess. Okay, tower, sounds fun. All right, so here is our first structure that we must destroy. The whole goal, from what I understand, at least for these early jobs, is to get these red things destroyed. So essentially, we have to destroy the whole white tower via using this yellow one. Now we have things on the side. We have ultra heavy cubes, connectors, and heavy pillars. I think I'm gonna start off with some pillars, obviously. And then we're just gonna build like a hammer up top. Let's try and use one of these connector blocks and then put another heavy cube here. Oh, the building in this game feels great. And then I guess we just hit go. And... That feels fitting, you know? That feels like a good first job. <laughs> So, was that too much weight, I'm thinking? Oh, the clear feels so good. This game feels so good already. I'm so excited for it. So, what I'm going to do instead is just lean this off the side a bit. And being that we don't actually get our blocks back when we end, I'm just going to use half my blocks. I feel like this is simply all I need to do. And just wait for it. Maybe utilizing those connectors to keep these things together will be smart. But this, oh my god. God, of course I didn't destroy it. How is that actually staying up? I'm so mad right now. All right, well, we can clear it and we still have the destruction that we did. I kind of like this. It, when you clear, you're not resetting the level. You're just clearing all the debris away and then you can continue to build. So let's just do the same strategy as before, except over a little bit to the left. So now we should fall once again, same idea. All right, a little bit slower this time, but I'm hoping now we should definitely get this whole structure to crumble, right? How is that staying up? Oh, it blew up and it actually took it out. You know what? If this is the first level, I'm already having so much fun. This gets me excited. This is the perfect game for me. All right, so there we go. 89% destroyed in two moves. All right, let's move on to the next stage. Use rotators to churn parts. Okay, so we can make like maybe a wrecking ball or something. Oh, actually, okay, so this is kind of interesting. We have uh, obviously some smaller buildings all around. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna make like a death wheel. What we'll do is put that in the middle, have one going out. Wait, okay, so how do I get it so it doesn't have scaffolding at the bottom? Because unfortunately, as you can see, we have this scaffolding. So hopefully that just goes away and I can make like a... A wrecking arm here. Hmm, how am I gonna do this? Because whenever I build out this way, I can't build obviously into the other structure. So I have to build this on an angle maybe. And now we can actually have a decent sized uh, structure here. So we'll do one connector. I feel like this thing's not gonna last though. This is too much weight. Let's just try it and see. Okay, okay, okay. I'm actually impressed. That actually is holding out. I didn't think it would be strong enough to hold out. And that's exactly how you do this level. Oh, dude, that was fun. And there it goes right at the end. Perfect timing. How, how, how did I do? 89% again with one move that time, though. Destroy targets on build the grounds to unlock. Okay, so I'm assuming I have to first of all destroy this giant tower. Then I can build there to destroy this big white area over in the distance here. So you know what? We're going to keep it simple. Uh, we'll use the same strategy we did before with this giant pillar. And then we'll just put a heavy block at the top. I don't want to use too many pieces. So yeah, we'll try and just make essentially a giant hammer here. And hopefully that gets what we need done with this first one. <laughs> Dude, this is not getting old at all. I am having so much fun. That was perfect. Exactly what I wanted. And now we just got to figure out something to destroy this platform, which is attached to the side. So I wonder if I can make something 
that will just wipe out this entire far side. Let's try something like that. And then we'll use the heavy beams on the side here with the, we have connectors, right? Yeah, okay. So we really got to utilize these connectors. And then with those connectors, we'll utilize these heavy beams. Perfect. That's our biggest structure yet. It might actually be too big, but I'm hoping, oh yeah, this is, if this is the right size, this is going to be so good. I feel like it's too big though. Come on. Oh, wait. It might actually... Oh, well, we got it anyways. It was slightly too big, though. That's so frustrating. I wish we would have got those two white pieces because we would have probably got 100% then. All right. Well, we still did it anyways, and that's our best job yet with 91%. All right. One six. We have a wall we have to destroy. Do we get to use the gun? Okay. So this gun has a light on it. I'm assuming it's kind of like Portal. If we put something on that light, it will shoot. That's going to shoot both of those things down. I'm thinking it's as easy as that. So let's just do that just to see kind of how this thing works. And away it goes. <laughs> okay. Wow. That is a high caliber gun. So I just got to do that twice. I wonder if I can take out some of this tower, though. It's actually destroying under its own weight. All right. We're going to design something weird here. So the beams, you can't actually um, rotate upwards. So that's the difference between the beams and the pillars. The beams obviously can only go horizontally. Um, so I'm just trying to kind of design something that will hopefully fall over and take this out. And then we still have two pillars and one heavy beam um, later on to get the gun to shoot once again. So let's just see, this might do nothing. I'm really hoping, yes! That's all I wanted. Oh, is it really gonna be held up by this little piece right here? Come on, fall. There we go. That's all I wanted, just some extra destruction. I mean, we have the blocks. We may as well utilize them. We'll clear that and do a third job here with the simple... Wait, wait, wait. The button is already pressed down, so I have to do this in one shot. So was I supposed to design something like that round one and then shoot round two once the, the uh, structure is destroyed? Probably. Let's just try this. I doubt it's going to shoot again. We'll find out quick here. And it actually freaking missed it anyways. But yeah, I think that's what we're going to have to do. So we're going to have to restart this level. All right, let's try something like that. That should do a lot of damage, I'm thinking. And that gives me enough to shoot the gun as well. Assuming this thing will fall. Oh, yeah, this is going to be destructive. Dude, this is so fun. <laughs> These levels haven't been too hard, I, I will admit. But I am having a blast just doing this. And there we go. Not as much as I hoped. We still have a lot of the structure in its place, but that's okay. When we hit clear, sometimes it adds more. There we go. A few pieces fell off, but not much. So now I think I'm just going to... This might... I might regret this, but I think we should just be able to do it with this. So let's just build like a little T there. And worst case, I still have some. That's perfect. Oh, calculated. Done. Targets have been destroyed. Okay, that actually went extremely well, so that was fun. That one made me think, unfortunately, our worst job yet by far. I did have some extra pieces, so I definitely could have designed something bigger to destroy that wall, but honestly, I'm, I'm just enjoying these levels. As long as we get the task done, I'm happy. Let's move on. Uh, use hinges to make movable joints. All right, let's just start off by getting an idea of what exactly this level's doing. So I'm just going to build some heavy cubes here, see if these buttons do anything and if there's a force field on the bottom as i assumed okay so oh dude that's so cool okay so we can shotgun it so first of all we want to make sure this is lifted off mostly we'll put the hinge here but then to force it to go forward we'll just move that block ahead a little bit and then it should tumble in the direction that i actually want it to perfect that okay and once we make a bunch of those it should be good. Is it going to get reset? Oh, I just jammed it. Okay, maybe that's not good. Maybe we should build them on top of each other. All right, so that's exactly what I did. I just built two on top of each other for each piece. Uh, obviously, they're not perfect, but good, good enough. I'll just throw... We still have a bunch of hinges, actually. Let's just throw, like, mini ones up here. There we go. And we'll just throw hinges on that. Okay, that's not where I wanted that hinge to be, but hey, that's fine. I'm, essentially, what I'm doing is just throwing everything at this and hoping for the best. So we'll throw hinges on hinges. I mean, this is essentially just a giant shotgun and I just want as many pieces falling down as possible and hopefully igniting all three of these. So here we go. Go in. Oh, this is gonna be good. This is gonna be so good. <laughs> yes. 
<laughs> much better than last time. We might even get 100%. I don't know the definition of 100 because these things are still kind of together down here. But it fell down, so hopefully that was good. Definitely my favorite level so far. And yeah, okay. I mean, we knocked it down, but it's not considered destroyed until it's in pieces, I guess. So that's kind of frustrating. But that was very enjoyable, and that's all I really care about. Okay, use rotators to churn parts. We've learned that before. Hopefully, we can get a little more complex this time. All right, so we just have a giant wall. What I'm thinking, though, is this middle piece is going to be indestructible, obviously. From what we've seen, only white gets destroyed. So I essentially have to avoid that piece and wrap around. So what I'm immediately thinking is designing some sort of beam going over there and then turn a rotator on that with something crashing into this wall. So we just rotate all the way around the wall and destroy the whole thing. That's the goal. Oh, we actually have lasers. Perfect. Okay, I know exactly what to do then. Okay, I forgot the pillars. You can't seem to rotate uh, horizontally. They only rotate in one direction. So I can't build a giant beam over there like I kind of wanted to. But I'm assuming these laser beams have a long distance. So we don't even need to do that. So what we're going to do is just put a connector here. And then on that, we're going to do a little rotational thing. And then on that, we're going to do a heavy pillar in the middle. Hopefully, this can withstand the weight. All right, one thing I didn't think about is trying to attach the bottom is not the easiest. So I can't actually do that now, which is fine. Having the lasers at different distances is probably a smart idea anyways. So I think we'll just try this and see if it works out. And we'll do a connector down here with the other laser on that one. So they're spread out. And one should go on the outside. One should hopefully go on the inside. This will actually... Oh! Oh, I didn't connect those together. All right, so similar design. We're just connecting to a smaller beam, so hopefully it doesn't break. And trying to keep those lasers. Yes! Yes! That feels so good. Oh, that was perfect. Okay. <laughs> Thankfully, that worked. These things have a lot of load on them. Like, I thought that would break for sure, but that thing can hold out. And... Oh, man, that got, it's got to be close to 100%. Oh, there we go. Okay, so the target got destroyed. It was, I, I guess it was on the ground. I didn't see it there. But how we do? 95 with one move. Not bad at all. All right, this one looks a hell of a lot more complex than the uh, ones we've been on. Now, we're on World 3 now, I should mention, out of, I think, seven or eight worlds. So it's nice to see how it kind of pro progressively gets harder and harder. The, or the start was definitely easy, which is nice, though. Um, so we have rotators, a bunch of connections, and a bunch of beams. So I'm immediately thinking we're just going to have to build a giant crane arm. Oh, I know what, I, what we can do. So if we put a connector here, I'm hoping we can have a strong enough piece of metal here where we can build out this way. And what we're going to want to essentially do is build all the way to the middle here, build another rotator arm laser thing like we did before, and hopefully we can laser each side of this. We kind of have weird angles here, so I don't know if it will work or not, but I feel like that's a good first start. Assuming we can build a giant arm and it withstand its own weight. So I'm thinking maybe even right here, we'll build the rotational connector. And then hopefully we can build a beam long enough to hit both sides of this. I don't want to build too far, though. Is that going to be enough, I wonder? I, that should hit that. I mean, I think this... I, I don't want to go crazy because then it's just, it's just going to die. So that might actually be all we need. Let's just try... Let's keep it simple at the start. Let's see if that's going to be what we need. Holy crap, it can hold it. Okay, first try! First try, baby! Oh, dude, that's so fun. I, I like that the levels are now starting to have, like, areas that are blocked, so you really got to think about how you want to do that. And as per usual, it withstand it just long enough and destroyed itself. Now, I think, is that everything? Yes, indeed it is. So that was a quick look into the early and mid-tier levels. You got to remember, that was only World 3. Oh, man, that's so fun, though. Uh, yeah, so that was the mid-level of World 3. We have World 4, 5, 6, 7. So we really only scratched the surface, but this is a demo after all, so they don't want to show everything. I'm super excited for the more complex levels, though, because those... I mean, they made me think a little bit, but I want to see where we can go with some, with a game like this. So yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick look into a Briss build to destroy. And uh, yeah, I'll definitely be checking this game out when it comes out. Uh, as I said, if you do want to check out the demo and whatnot, I'll have links in the description where you can learn more about this game. As always, thanks for watching and liking, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.